good morning everyone welcome back to another weekly vlog how exciting another one i mean i say that as if i'm as if i've been doing this for months on end it's the second one we're doing well how are you all doing i don't think i need to go on about it but it's so hot here in the uk <laughs> Last night was really hot, so sleeping's just been a bit uncomfortable. We had a fan on all night, which I don't really like to do, but needs must in this situation. And a lot of my like friends and like people in my real life have said to me, "Oh my god, how are you?" Because uh, being pregnant, and I'm actually fine on that front because I'm not as big. So I remember just before I had Gabe, that was in August, he was born. And if we can cast our mind back to 2020, the summer of 2020, it was very warm. And there was similarly like this, two very, very, very hot weeks. So just before I gave birth to Gabe, it was absolutely bloody boiling. And that was quite killer. I was still doing hair. <laughs> I did hair the day I gave birth to him. It's not weird to think. Um, anyway, I was still doing hair and my the biggest thing was my ankles and feet swelled up to about 50 times the size. I looked like I had like, inflatable feet on it was so weird and that was just really uncomfortable because it kind of went a bit puffy on the top and just really tight so you didn't really want to stand you i didn't really want to stand on my own feet <laughs> if that makes sense and i had to order like a size eight men's flip-flop because that's the only thing that would fit and i just needed to sit with my feet up because it was so uncomfortable to just stand on them so uh no i'm not in that in that state which is great um, I'm actually quite comfortable. I'm just, I don't think I'm any hotter or more uncomfortable than anyone else at this stage. So we live next door to our landlords, which is actually lovely. They're so nice. And they were really kind and dropped off like a Dyson fan to us yesterday because I'm not, I can't remember why, but I think they said, oh, we've got a client who gave us three or something, or like they went to an event and got, got given three. Anyway, so they, she was like, so we just got them like all over our house. So, so that was great. So we had that on all night and that was made it much better but yeah sleeping's not ideal hold on one moment please i've just got a a voice note to listen to um i've completely lost my train of thought it was hot yesterday it's hot it, hot we're hot at all times oh, oh it's wednesday today i haven't told you the day and i've got like technically the day off and well no actually i lie i am cutting my friend's hair um around lunchtime i think um, but I was doing hair yesterday and on Monday. Did I do hair on Monday? I think, I think so. God, the days just merge into one. Yeah. So today is kind of like a day off. So I'm just getting ready because I'm going to go meet my only mum friend. <laughs> no, that, I say only mum friend. I have other friends who are mums, but their kids are a bit older. And this is my friend Charlotte and we exclusively met from being mums. Um, and being pandemic 2020 mums, because I actually met her on an app called Peanut, which is, I've spoken about before, it's basically like Tinder for mums. Um, and we've had a thriving relationship ever since. She She's one of those people that we would be friends anyway, even if we didn't have kids. If we'd met in another situation like work or something, we would be close friends. So I'm going to see her this morning, basically. Have a little morning together and then i'm supposed to be cutting my friend's hair at midday i was about to say midnight not at midnight at midday and then that's pretty much it i've got the afternoon free i'd like to film some reels um if i get time to hainsley is also off today so he's he can be on like gabe duty for me which would be nice um i don't know if i can be bothered to even do my hair to be honest but i feel like i should but that means going over there because there's only a plug over there so I have to use that mirror. I can't plug it in here and do it. It's quite annoying actually this bedroom, the plug situation. I'm trying to think if I had anything else to tell you. No, this is probably a very boring intro. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a nice day today. Hainsley's taking you to nursery now because Charlotte can meet a bit earlier. Um, and rather than going back and forth with the car, I don't really need to explain that. But yeah, so now Hainsley's taking you to nursery. I'm ready um god i'm out of breath just walking down the stairs oh god just had breakfast with my lovely friend i'm walking back from town and i didn't take like a tote bag or anything with me because i didn't think i'd be shopping and i haven't been shopping but i didn't think i'd get anything but i went into m and 
uh, to get some pants <laughs> and also some dishwasher tablets. And yeah, I didn't take a tote bag with me, so I just had to walk all the way home with my pants in my hand. I did something very irresponsible, which was lie down and then I had a nap. And now I have to go and pick up Gabe, but I'm, I just want to have a nap. I feel like I could honestly sleep for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> uh. Love that. Do you want a bread there? Oh, yeah, coming to Jane's Breeze because we need. Oh, I've got one. They had paddling pools in here the other day, so I want to see if they've still got them. Obviously, if they're listening or honey, they're probably sold out, but I think I'll give those a try as well. They've got them yeah. on offer 15 pounds reduced to 18. Not the most aesthetic. Yeah. Pleasing. Okay, we'll talk about this at home. Okay, so what I was trying to say in the supermarket was that I went really to get this, <laughs> which was on offer from £18 to £15, just a little paddling pool. I need to put it out in the garden because it's bloody hot. Um, so then you can run around and splash around and everything. Um, hello, good morning, everyone. It could have been a week actually since I at last vlogged and i meant to vlog last week and put this vlog up on sunday however i don't really know what happened i just didn't really vlog and then i thought okay well i'll vlog into the beginning of of this week and put it up maybe monday or tuesday night we, as you may all be aware it's been so hot this week so we've been taking it real slow monday and tuesday just were such wasted days because i did nothing because it was that hot it is a Thursday today and I have a midwife appointment this morning which I'm really excited about. It's my 16 week appointment. I think I'm excited because I just feel like it's been, it's, I just feel like it's been ages. Like I have my 12 week scan and then I don't have another scan until 20 weeks. You don't get as many midwife appointments with your second pregnancy because no one really cares because they're like, oh, you've done it before, it's fine. So it just it just feels like a long time to go in between and it's always reassuring to go and like listen to the heartbeat and just know that someone's kind of doing all your checks and looking out for you. Oh my god, I've got to remember my book. So this is I'm wearing this today. Oh that doesn't look very flattering. I'm wearing this outfit today, which is these very old. I don't know if anyone remembers these from my last pregnancy, these H and M um like jersey joggers that are elasticated, and then this linen shirt also from H and M. I would wear one of my Beyond Nine jumpsuits because I'm then going to the salon after my midwife appointment to do hair but at the midwife when they listen to the baby you have to kind of strip down like pull your trousers down a bit obviously to the bottom of your tummy so if I was wearing a play suit that would just be annoying I tend to wear a two-piece when I go to the midwife <laughs> about to do my skincare. Gabe's in bed. Well I've just put him to bed so he should be drifting off to sleep anytime. I still feel like I need to keep my voice down because he, like I've got the door shut but I just feel a bit like oh, I need to keep my voice down. I feel like this might be slightly slanted too and if it is it's because the house is slanted. <laughs> the house we live in is like an older house and so it's actually like not very even. Do you know what I mean? Like the floor isn't very even. So if this looks slanted, it's because it probably is. I take my eye makeup off with just this Boots um, eye makeup remover. I really like it, but that looks like it's it's quite abrasive. It's not. I think I just rubbed the cotton pad too tight. So just ignore that. I I basically I like to take my makeup off before I wash my before I do my skincare. Um, so I just got this Garnier water cleanser. It's micellar hyaluronic aloe water. It's a newer one, and I really like it. And then if I just get out all my skincare and just show you what I'm going to do. Start off, Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I've used this for years. It's quite well known on the internet. And then I feel like I'm a bit congested and just like dull and blocked. So I'm going to do a little exfoliation with the Tatcha. This is the Rice Polish Deep. It's like a, one of those powder exfoliators that kind of goes a bit milky. It's not really abrasive. But it is a physical exfoliant. I feel like I had one years ago by a Korean brand called Amore Pacific, which is a very similar product. 
but you can't get that I don't even know if it exists anymore you can't get that very easily but Tatcha just comes to space and okay and everything I've tried from Tatcha I absolutely love so this will be my second like exfoliator and then going to do the Murad replenishing multi-acid peel this stuff is incredible it's like an it's like a, a very in well it well as it says it's a multi-acid peel so it's a very very strong like AHA BHA type situation that's like a, a chemical exfoliator so it sounds like I'm doing quite a lot of exfoliating I'm just doing the rice polish just to slough away like the skin and then this can then address um, the texture that I feel like I've got at the moment any pigmentation and just dullness without having like a layer of dead cells to work through. My Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, I have like the big, the bigger bottle because I love it so much. Eye cream is the Ren Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. I don't think it's particularly brightening. I don't, you can't really brighten your under eyes. I hate to tell you, there's nothing you can do, but I just have to have an eye cream. And then the Eucerin Anti-Pigment Night Cream. I'm actually, in the market for a night cream because I don't feel like I've got one that I love but I do like this range from Eucerin I also use the day cream which is well they're SPF 50 in this range and I do really like it I really rate Eucerin okay back from dropping Gabe's nursery um Hainsley is working this morning so it's just mummy at home I'm not sure if I've said on here before but when I'm pregnant I, I just completely go off hot coffee but because it's been hot i haven't minded an iced coffee so i've been making my own and they've been great that is delish so i just have one um i don't have it every morning but if i feel like i've got a bit of an energy slump then i could do with a coffee that's how i've been drinking it i've got some content to film for my hair page no not for my hair page but through my hair instagram i'm working with a brand of brushes who want me to do a tutorial for their uh, social media pages so I've got that to film um, and then this week I will also have another brand video to film with Babyliss again for my for my hair um, Instagram because I do the odd bit of content here and there for some hair brands which is great I've got one piece to film today and then as I say this week I will also have to film one for Babyliss and then I'm picking up Gabe later on and then we're gonna go meet my mum's friend for coffee I've just filmed my blow dry tutorial for Kent brushes. Well, so it's like a how to use a round brush tutorial. And I'm very happy with how it's turned out. I'm very sort of real housewife with the, the flicks underneath. Um, and then I kind of blow dried the front out. And I actually underestimate a blow dry. I don't really mind them. I sometimes think I really wish I was that person that could blow off like a super big bouncy swishy blow dry. But I feel like it's a little bit too perfect for me i do love a beachy wave but when i actually take the time to blow dry my hair which is rarely i do quite like the result it just gives you like a natural volume my hair just need to cut so i feel a bit triangular at the bottom but anyway let me just show you the brushes quickly because these are consumer and they're really nice and um, they're just their ceramic round brushes from kent salons i'll try and link them below if i can and then also they did send over this um which is like a ball bristle brush but you can see it's got kind of plastic bristles 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 too this is lovely um for either smoothing your hair when it's dry or i did use it to brush it out when it was wet a uh, really lovely brush so highly recommend i usually use the wet brush to brush my hair out when it's wet but that is really nice um and i'm quite sure you can pick these up in boots and they're very reasonably priced I'm just on my way to go and pick up gabe with my very swishy hair look at that it's always a bit weird walking down the road with an empty buggy but yeah, I should have really, when I dropped Gabe this morning in the car, I should have really just left the buggy in the buggy store at the Childminders, but I didn't really think to do that, so now I have to walk with an empty buggy, so, fab. Hello. He just got a bit upset leaving nursery. He can be a bit hit and miss. Sometimes he runs towards me, he's like, yeah, let's go, and he's like dragging me out the door. And then sometimes he's a bit like, I want to stay, actually. Mixed emotions all round, really. Who's made a mess? Just leave that there, Gabe. Do you know what I mean? Don't worry about it. I'll just leave that there. Now we're on to the bottom drawer. Um, Hazy's just putting Gabe to bed. I just watered the herb garden. As you can see, I really need to start trimming all of this and kind of put some herb bundles together for friends because 
I've got so much, I'm just not going to use it. Like, look at the parsley. It's just taken over and so is the oregano. Like, look. Look at that. So much of it. Um, and then the chives are kind of going all over the place. But yeah, I definitely need to start making some herb bundles. Oh, look. Look at that. There's little flowers. I think I remember my mum saying that <clears throat> oregano would flower. How lovely. Anyway.